Hey everybody, welcome back to A Glittery Life. I am so glad you're watching today and I have a little bit of a haul video for you. So you know it was recently iMaths and I didn't actually go to iMaths. Uh, I had a work uh, engagement that day on Saturday. So I met up with uh, my girls that are also YouTubers and my friends uh, in real life, which is really cool. Uh, I met up with them Saturday night to go to some parties. So we went to the Beautylish party uh, with the Wayne Goss brush launch. Love those guys. It was fun to see them again. Um, got to hang out with Candy Johnson that night, which was really cool. She is so nice and so friendly. And she literally, there. I mean, there was a table of us, but she took, a, she spent like a good 30 minutes with us, just chatting with us and then took a picture and um, just a really genuine, she's the real deal. Uh, if you're not watching her, you should be. And if you are watching her, keep watching her because she's really awesome. And uh, then we went over to the Nick's new me party, which was crazy. It was so fun. Um, and I cannot believe the swag bag they gave us. It was crazy. I'm going to show you some of those things uh, I from the swag bag, but I honestly am not keeping very much because I just simply don't have the room. You know, I live in a tiny little studio here in LA and um, I am so appreciative of what they gave us and I'm keeping, I'm keeping a handful of it for sure. And I'm really excited. It's such a great quality product. And I depotted a bunch of the shadows and did a blog post on how to depot Mac or Nick shadows. I'll link that down below as well. I'll do a video for you guys too for that. And, uh, but really had a great time putting packages together for some friends and sending those out and then taking a whole bunch of the stuff and making it part of a giveaway. So uh, anyway, I wanna show you the next day, um, I met up with Summer from Limousines of Moi and Melissa from Honey Bee Philosophy. Okay, first off, Melissa and I hadn't ever met before. We were just friends on YouTube and we've done collabs together and we text and we're just, you know, like connected or whatever. And it was so awesome to meet her. I felt like she's like a little sister and I wish she'd moved to LA. Move to LA, Melissa. Um, anyway, so we met up and went shopping. And so I wanna show you some of the things that I scored from that. So anyway, I have a big bag of stuff that I want to show you from that and also some of the stuff from um, the swag, one of the, the swag bags. Um, first off, I got the Kinesco Skin and this is called the Nano Gold Repair um, Face Mask. This is one of those masks that you actually like put on your face and you look like a luchador from, um, what's that really funny movie? I can't even think of what it is now, Nacho Libre. Um, and I also got some of the, I met the gal who owns this company. She's so amazing. Um, I'll link the company down below as well because we got to sample the eye under eye masks for this product and I couldn't believe it. I did the luminizing under eye and by the time I left, literally it looked like I had highlighter and brightener underneath my eyes and I did it right over my makeup. Now you're not supposed to, but the, anyway, this mimics a spa treatment. It's basically identical. She's an esthetician and this is sold in places like the Four Seasons and like spas like that. So pretty, pretty high end product. And um, I'm really excited to try the, the masks. Let me know if you want to see a product review on this, but so far what I've seen, what I've tested out, I love it. So like I said, I'll link all that down below. Um, okay, dude, I caved. This is Leslie's fault from Lip Gloss Leslie. I got the chocolate bar palette. I, I need another eyeshadow palette. Like I need a hole in my head, honestly. And I was not going to let myself buy this. I was just not going to do it. And she keeps posting these tutorials and looks with this palette and keeps like raving about it. And so I got it. I caved. I got the chocolate bar palette and it smells like chocolate. I love it. Chocolate, chocolate and eyeshadow, two of my favorite things. The colors are beautiful. This is actually the first time I'm opening it, which unfortunately it looks like somebody else has already like touched some of it or maybe, I don't know, maybe not, but it's a little bit of a mess on the inside, which is kind of a bummer. Um, anyway, I will swatch this for you in another video. And um, let me know in the comments if you want to see a review or tutorial with this product as well. Um, I think this is my t first Too Faced shadows. I'm, I've never done their shadows before. I don't have any of their other little palettes. So I, I think this is my first one from them. But really excited about it. Um, also from Too Faced, I had to get another Better Than Sex mascara because I'm obsessed with it. And it's amazing. And um, honestly, like... You know, all last year, what did I do? 
I complained almost every week about can't find any mascara. Now I've found two, Lorac Pro and Better Than Sex uh, by Too Faced. Thank you very much. I also, from Too Faced, um, got their new Sweetheart blush. This is the peach blush. And I always see these at Sephora and I've never picked one up before, but I think they're so cute. I love hearts and um, I love anything like lovey and hearts, like anything like that. And so, oh gosh, isn't this like so beautiful? Really excited, haven't even tried this yet. Let's swipe this. So that's the really orange, that's the really pink, and then this is the more like champagne-y bronze. And can you see that all right? Yeah. And then swirled together, I'm sure it is gorgeous. Can't wait to try that. Okay, I also picked up some more um, of these twist hairpins by Lure. Um, okay, these are amazing. I can seriously get my whole hair in a bun with like two of these or a top knot. So if you haven't found these, if you haven't tried these yet, I, I mean, I've got them at Target before and they have them kind of everywhere now. These are really cool. Excited to have some more of those because I have two, but I feel like I lose them all the time. No shock there. Um, I got the Stila Magnificent Metals Foil Finish Eyeshadow. Now this is a two-step process um, and I got the Metallic Merlot, which is like this really pretty like cranberry pink color, which I thought would look really pretty with the Naked uh, palette. Okay, so this has three pieces. It has a little tray. It has this like tiny little, I don't even know if I can get it out of here. This tiny, tiny little half full jar of liquid eye primer. And then it has the like thing of pigment. And basically what you do is you put a little bit of pigment on this plate and then you put a little dropper of this primer on it and then you swirl it together with your brush and then you basically put it on on your lid or your crease or whatever how we're going to use it with your lips and you basically foil it on and it is the most beautiful um it's just a cool product it's different it's a little bit like the Lorac liquid luster drops but way more pigmented and you know those are very pigmented this is even more pigmented they had so many colors honestly i sat there and it took me 10 minutes to figure out what color i wanted i just kept swatching them with summer and melissa and just kept going back and forth but ultimately decided i'm so obsessed with the naked palette naked three palette so i figured this one would be a great compliment to that okay so at the numi nyx party after imats numi was so generous and gave us their curling wand this is my first numi iron um, I don't have anything from them. This is the curling wand and it's a 25 millimeter. I'm really excited to try this out. And they also gave us their argon oil, which is new. Um, you know, we'll see. I, I do love argon oil, but then I fell in love with agave oil, which is better for my hair, but I really do like argon oil a lot. Um, let me know if you want to see, um, a review on this or a tutorial or anything like that on this Numi wand. Um, I know there's always discount codes going around on um, YouTube for the Numi wand, so maybe you could pick one up if you like this, but I'm really excited. It is just the, um, well, never mind. I'll do a separate video. If you want to see a video on this, let me know. Um, thumbs up this video and leave me a comment saying that you want to see the curling wand review and demo, and I'll do that for you. Okay, and I just pulled out a handful of stuff from NYX uh, that I wanted to show you. I'm excited about their blotting powder. Um, I'm using the light color, obviously, uh, because I'm so fair. And um, this is a new product as far as I can tell, because we got their whole new line. Oh, that might be a little light for me. I definitely did not even open that. I was going by the outside of the box. That's probably too light for me. But I do have the darker, co the medium color, I think. So anyway, that's funny. That's real light. For me to say something's too light, it's very light then. Um, I'm gonna try their BB cream. This is their NYX BB cream. It says it brightens, smooths, moisturizes, oil-free, mineral enriched, uh, perfection in a tube. Uh, this is color natural, which let's see what this looks like. Oh yeah, this looks like it's gonna be a great match for me. Oh, that's really nice, has a nice finish. You know, I'm not a huge BB cream fan because I just think they're a tinted moisturizer 
and that's exactly what that looks like is a tinted moisturizer so but I do like to throw that on once in a while so I'm sure I'll be using this as a tinted moisturizer um, I also pulled out their um, dark circle secrets and this is their under eye corrector apparently coconut oil and this is the orange pigment I don't know I don't know how the colors of these work I haven't swatched any of these let's see what this one looks like cute little oh yeah this looks like it will be a good match for me well I don't know there's a swatch of that you can't really see what that looks like because it does it's, it might be a little too pink for my under eyes but I guess if it's a dark circle concealer you do want a little bit of pink to kind of counteract those blue veins I don't know um, I wanted to show you a couple lip products um, I wanted to swatch a couple of the new butter glosses and um, one of the butter lipsticks that I'm really excited this is in little Susie look how cute that is that's such a cute color and I cannot wait to wear that really pretty really just kind of fun and bright and then a couple of the butter glosses that I wanted to swatch this one is in cupcake um, who doesn't love anything called cupcake nice bright pink right there looks cute with little Susie um, will be a good kind of like it would be a great gloss over that uh, this one is in sugar cookie I love it because it's got that purpley hue oh my gosh oh, I love that crazy fuchsia purple I feel like I have a ton of those but I don't care I love them you see that okay Let's see, this one is an angel food cake, which honestly is the only kind of cake I like. Well, I kind of like that cake with the funfetti in it too, but angel food cake is what I always have for my birthday. Ooh, this is beautiful. The perfect, like, mauve toned nude. I love that right there. This I will be wearing a ton. And then, of course, um, devil's food cake. So, <laughs> angel's food cake, devil's food cake. These names are so funny. But this is so pretty. This is my jam right now. Look at that. Can't wait to wear that. Nice, dark, vampy gloss. That with uh, one of my NARS lip pencils or whatever they're called. I can't even think of what they're called, but you know what I'm talking about. Uh, in Tron Blue. That's going to look beautiful. And then I just want to swatch some of these NYX illuminator plus bronzer and I think that equals blush I'm not sure though that's funny this one is in sugar mama and it's a really pretty light like peach almost like orange sor sorbet and I hope you'll be able to oh that's beautiful but it's definitely like I said orange sorbet but I think blended in, that's gonna look really pretty. This one is in chiffon, more of a rose gold, kind of reminds me, um, kind of reminds me of Benefit Dallas, but it's a little bit different. I don't know how to describe how different it is, but that definitely needs to be built up. But I would like that in the contour. I think that would be really pretty in the contour. Uh, next up is Foreplay. A uh, nice bright pink. Looks cute for spring. These are very light. These, these do not have a ton of color payoff with one swipe. Really have to sort of like build that up so you can see that one right there. And the last one that I kept is in Ladylike. I thought it was so cute, a really light kind of Barbie-ish pink with definitely some sparkle in it. And this is exactly what I was hoping for. Like, but these are real powdery. I'm not sure how, I don't know how these will wear, um, but look how cute that pink is. Definitely what I've been looking for. Yeah, this will be interesting to see. Um, I'll do a review of those after I've really had some time to like test them out and kind of let you know what I think about those and what I think about like whether they're blendable or whether they just sort of poof and disappear and like dissipate because sometimes when products don't swatch that well um, it's hard to tell but they are beautiful 
and um, I think you're just gonna have to load your brush up with these. You know, sometimes with the baked shadows or any mineral shadow, a little bit of Fix Plus on your brush um, really sort of helps like work that mineral or baked product in. So I think that's probably what I'll try first. Anyway, these are some new products that I picked up recently that you'll be seeing. Um, hopefully you'll be seeing me use and I'll talk about them in any of these products that you wanna see a review on or you want more information, more video, just let me know down in the comments because I read every single one of your comments. I love your comments. I always try to comment back. And so I want to know what you think. I want to know what you want to see. And once again, thank you so much for watching. And I'll link all that other stuff in the drop down menu. Have an awesome day, you guys.